Okay, we are back in Ansel's shoes here. All right, so we have our first, what I consider a proper dungeon. Now it's not a dungeon in the sake of um, being an underground thing or anything like that, but I consider a dungeon to be any gameplay segment where you gotta creep around. I guess really the last place we were at was a dungeon. I actually think this, this one is better designed, a better designed environment than the ones we previously went at. I was getting a little bit better at it by the time we had reached this point, Oh, beat that thing up pretty quick. Hmm. Oh, what the hell was this? I forget what this is. Oh, it was a treasure chest. <laughs> SV was the, um, the currency of the game. There's no battle music. Oh, did we have a crystal? No, nope, it's gone. Well, I guess we didn't. Ah, this environment's still not that good. I'm supposed to follow the road. <laughs> I feel like one of these is going to give me something. Nope. <laughs> This environment was bigger than I remember it being. It's definitely bigger than I remember it being. <laughs> Alright, so here's a house. Got a tiny person out here. Okay, so I had done something. I was kind of proud of this, although it is kind of a waste of time, I think. I don't know, maybe a player would find some enjoyment out of this. But I had gone and added some mildly branching pathways in the game. Now, for example, encountering this dead character and then checking this door would result in a minor change occurring in the game a little bit later on. I'll detail what that is when we in, uh, run across it. But where we are supposed to find the wolves are, is up here. The fuck was that? <laughs> okay, so we got a boss battle. The first actual boss battle in the game, meaning it's the first one we're expected to win. <laughs> Bee claws. <laughs> Ansel is way too high a level. <laughs> Okay, the animation didn't play, but we picked up the Alpha Wolf Soul. soul.
father, daughter. They saved your daughter. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, so you get to wander around in this place a little bit, but there's not really anything to do here except just explore this fenced area. There's really nothing here, so let's move on. All right, so this is the first town. Towns are, I feel like, a really important thing to have in Japanese-style RPGs, which is why I find the design of Final Fantasy XIII to be just so bizarre. You kind of need these moments to have your characters take a moment and rest and explore and, and that kind of thing. So, this is the town of Norberg, and the thing I was referring to earlier about um, minorly branching storyline. Oh my god, look at these trees. They're all fucked up. That guy is over here, and he is way too small. Another character that's not scaled properly. So this guy was uh, not one of the hunters that was trying to fight the wolves off. So this guy is someone who didn't participate in the defense of the town, fighting off the wolves. And 
although he feels like all that would have happened was he would have been killed with everybody else, he feels a little bit of regret over not taking part in the defense of the town. That's not why I'm here talking to this guy, though. The reason why I came over to talk to him is because the interaction right at the beginning. Going to that hut and checking the door and finding the dead body changes this dialogue a little bit. In the beginning, Ansel told him about the extra body that was off in the woods. And he'll go out there and he will bury that body. Now, if you don't check that body, if you don't run across that body and then tell him later, when you go back to the woods later, you'll find that the body is still there. But now that we've done this and we've told this guy and we've checked that out, when we return out there, the body will be gone. And with the body gone, our characters don't feel that bad about breaking the door down to check out the inside of the cabin. And you will find items inside the cabin when you do that. So I'm not going into her house yet. I'm just going to check out some of the other buildings. Although I apparently can't enter this one. Or this one. God, these houses look terrible. Hey, look! Look at that sprite. It's a... Uh, it's a it's a placeholder sprite I used for Ambrose. Up, oh, can go in here. Oh, the temple. Ah, uh, yes. Where is crystals? Everybody worships crystals in this game. Everyone's tiny. Asher. This game has a sort of polytheistic religion that is, for the most part, shared across the world. Although you do find different sects of this religion focus more on the worship of individual deities in that polytheistic pantheon. There's nothing else in here? I didn't put anything else in here? Whatever. Hey, who are you? Okay, so I guess I don't really have anyone else in this town. I didn't populate the town the way I should have. God, I have a different sprite for Yanis here, and he's tiny. <laughs> okay, so we've jumped over to Ambrose again and he's in the cave that he heard about from Jaeger oh wow the text window changed <laughs> oh look at that fucking creature <laughs> okay I definitely created this graphic uh, we'll, we'll learn more about this one later Irita is a... We're going to see this thing later on. This is an awkward introduction. I really should have handled this better. All right, so this is Ambrose's father. Oh my god, you know what? This is fucked up. Because I'm using... An Ansel is here. Ansel should not be in this party. Fuck. 
Oh my god, another error. Ansel is in the party and he shouldn't be. And he's actually taken lead. Oh god, I guess I'm going to have to wait until this uh, scene finishes up. This is a much more of a maze. You got to explore, uh, explore around in here to find the way to the exit. To the other side of it. I don't quite remember the way. But I intended to populate this with bandits. But uh, I haven't yet. <laughs> oh, you know what? She's got the uh, sprite of the gestalt that we fought in the beginning of the game. Oh, she moved. <laughs> And I think our destination is over here. Placeholder graphics. Ansel's in this fight for some reason. <laughs> it should have removed him from the party at the beginning when we entered the scene, but it didn't for some reason. So Amy is Ambrose's little sister. The only member of his family still alive. Give him a question mark. Okay, so, up, uh, up, uh, his character portrait's still there. So a little bit of an explanation, uh, it, it didn't come across that well, is Kismet is, upon hearing the names of these people, it was starting to give her a little bit of pause and she didn't understand what was happening. Because the names that she was hearing, Ambrose, Jaeger, Amy, all of those, 
were the names of characters in an old legend that she was taught as a child. Something that had been repeated to her over and over again. It was a legend about the hero Ambrose united with these different people, rescues his sister, fights the hunter, and then goes and defeats the Gestalt. Now that was the name of the creature that was fought in the intro to the game a few episodes ago. And she like just transported into the story, but it wasn't really a story. It was based on legend. It was based not just on legend, but on history. So she thinks that she has been brought into the past, the distant past, in order to take part in what's going on. Now, uh, Oldier, the god that sent her back, didn't explain to her what her mission was and why he was doing what he did. But he brought her into the past for some reason. The wrong then, girl. <laughs> Was my fault. <clears throat> this, what he says, doesn't really make a lot of sense. I I don't know what the hell I was thinking when I wrote this. He just. I guess it was sort of like an info dump to kind of like talk about what kingdom they are in and then try to relate it to what his organization is about. Really what's happening is the or the group he belonged to was simply trying to uh, covertly influence the rest of the world, the kings, the nobility, everything like that from the shadows.
God, did I write all this dialogue? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to end this episode and pick it back up. Thanks for watching.